quarterback 23, Gardner Minshew of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Minshew was maybe the best surprise in the NFL last year. He was incredible uh, for Jacksonville, guiding them to a, a solid season. Um, w when Nick Foles went down early, I think everybody's like, oh, Jacksonville's going to suck again. Uh, like the, the water boy quote, we suck again. Um, but he was great, and, and, and he was so good that, they, that Doug Marone, uh, who's generally considered a, a decent quarterback guy, was willing to trade away Nick Foles and, and bet his future on, on Gardner Minshew, which gives me some confidence in him. Now, I have him at 23. I think most people had him in the high teens, maybe right around 20. But, uh, but I, I just don't think... It, guys like him, I feel like, tend, if you watched his games last year... It, it was rare he was sitting in the pocket picking apart defenses. His big plays came when he's able to get outside the pocket and, and make things happen on the run. You know, uh, uh, he's, a, he's a great thrower on the run. And, and that's when his big, big plays came to, to Chark and, and Conley and those type of guys. So I'm, I'm not confident in him because I didn't see that ability to just stand in the pocket make your reads, and deliver the ball on time and accurately. That's that's not what I saw from him last year, and so it does make me concerned and why I put him down at 23. However, he still has DJ Shark, who's great. He has Conley, who's pretty good. Great running back, obviously, and Fournette, who also caught a lot of balls last year. So he's a reasonable quarterback, too, uh, especially in a you know one of the more mediocre divisions in football, in Indy, Tennessee, and in Houston, all just okay. Uh, so... Quarterback two, but I wouldn't expect much more this year uh, until we see his ability to, to stand in the pocket and, and throw the ball.